Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. Today we are doing another in our series of movie icons and we're discussing the character of Ellen Ripley from the Alien franchise. Ripley was one of the original action movie heroines. This is not something that you saw women doing typically in movies before the first Alien movie was released in 1979. She wasn't a damsel in distress. She wasn't waiting for some man to come in and save her. She was very take charge. Josh, what did you like about Ripley as a character? I also liked that she was uh, not overly sexualized and portrayed her as a person and not just an object. And not just eye candy or window dressing and not relying on some dude to come in and save her at the last minute. But she also wasn't unrealistically capable or overly strong. You know, not like a superhero. And she seemed like a very real person who was put into this awful situation. You know, I also like that she was actually really creative at problem solving. I mean, gotta like the gun slash flamethrower combo in <laughs> Aliens. So it was pretty sweet. Um, right. But that's just a name um, among many that she'd had come up with to solve problems. Right. You felt like she got by not just on strength or training or, or brute force, but on her intellect and her right. ability to think. Her wits. She yeah. was very capable, very smart, very clever. Um, and I liked that she was tough, um, you know, but still scared, and obviously she would be in this kind of situation, and, and vulnerable. Like, she was just barely keeping it together, but she was still keeping it together and going forward and uh, tackling these problems as they popped up. Yeah. Now, Sigourney Weaver, the actress who played Ellen Ripley, Gonna, went on to star in many other things, but this was really her breakout role, and she was relatively unknown. Now, there are some interesting tidbits on how Sigourney Weaver actually landed the role of Ellen Ripley for the movie Alien. Initially, she was not really interested in the script. Uh, it didn't really grab her. You know, she had a lot of questions for Ridley Scott and the other producers before she was convinced to join uh, the production. Right. Uh, one of the things that actually sold the... Uh, director Ridley Scott and the producers was her height when she first went into the room to meet with them They were just like yep. This is Ripley. I mean they constantly had to keep looking up at her and her height and her demeanor convinced the director and producers that she was perfect for the role You know she was composed on the outside, but they could also tell that she was a nervous, you know a nervous actress on the inside Right and her height, you know, it's interesting because I've read other um, interviews and stuff with Sigourney Weaver where she talks about how her height um, was a disadvantage to her a mm -hmm. lot, um, especially when she was in school, in, in drama school, how it really prevented her from getting roles because she's taller than so many men, and especially when right. there are actors, a lot of them tend to be shorter. And, you know, she's six feet tall. And But for this role, it was definitely an advantage. Like, they, Ridley Scott and the producers liked her because of how tall she was yeah. and felt like that brought a real presence to the character of Ripley and helped her, you know, really seem tough and like a force to be reckoned with. Right. You know, rather than like some Somebody's five gonna foot, get pushed over. <laughs> you know, pipsqueak kind of person. It's like, yeah. you know, this is a this is a formidable human being, you know, being that tall. Well, and if you look into the uh, casting choices, uh, so many people actually kind of got offered this role before it landed on her. And initially, Ripley was actually written to be a man. And just the whole the whole change in the gender, I think, just add a whole new dimension to the character of Ripley. Yeah. And of course, Sigourney Weaver and her excellent performance um, really just brought it that much higher. Yeah. Elevated the whole thing. So that's it for this episode of Drawing Conclusions. Thank you so much for joining us. We'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think about Ripley as a character. What makes her such a great movie icon? And we'd also like to hear from you if you think that there are any other female action movie stars that come close to being as awesome as Ripley. We think she's the best one, but we'd like to hear your take on that too. That's right. And of course, like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so yet, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.